Hello, thanks for joining me again for another beer review and today we are heading off to Polly's Brew Co and this is the Fill and Avoid. It's a Saison coming in, or an Indian Saison as it says on, on the can. Indian Saison then coming at 7.1% ABV. It's brewed with Chinook, Halatau Blanc, Vic Secret and 7.1 as I've already said, no RBUs counted on this one. These guys are out of Flintshire, uh, North Wales. Um, store cold, drink fresh, allergens, gluten, barley and wheat. Best before see the base. The 9th of September of 2019. This is the second beer of our recent Good Beer Live, which is today. This has been open in about an hour or so, so it's lost a little bit of its um, fizz, if you like. So that's what I've got left in the glass. I'm going to pour a little bit in now just to uh, liven up a little bit. So yeah, 7.1% ABV um, Saison, if you like. Same Saison farmhouse ale, whatever. Whatever you want to call it. Indian Saison. That's a new one to me, but, but yeah. So beer in a glass, it's, it's a slight haze on this, well, uh, medium haze if you like, um, just a little bit of white head covering the top of the beer, nothing too kind of extravagant or anything like that. So it's lost a little bit of its uh, carbonation, but letting you know now before I do the review. So let's get an aroma then on this uh, Indian Saison. Yeah, very kind of, as I, I've said during, during the actual live show, it's very... It's got a slight kind of dryness, like like a brute kind of um, IPA kind of feel to the beer. A little bit of funk. Very kind of floral, you know, Parma Violet kind of sweetness coming through. A little bit dry, as I've said. A little bit funky. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Mm, maybe some mild spice, but yeah, let's go straight in for the kill. Cheers. Yeah, 7.1. That's. I mean, now that it's the actual beer is warmed up a little bit, it's coming through a little bit. That alcohol, not in an unpleasant way. Um, more of a kind of a, a perfumey alcohol, if that makes sense. Let's go in again. There's no commercial description on Untapped, and there's no commercial description on the can, apart from what they tell you what hop varieties are in this, etc. Um, but yes, yeah, there's a nice kind of dryness to it. Uh, maybe a little bit of a prickly pear. Yeah, quite a bit of booze. It's more of a, a slight booze edge to it. Um, body's sort of a medium. Um, yeah, the alcohol's coming through a little bit more. I mean, this is a brewery that they're, they're since they're rebranding. I mean, I've, I've reviewed two of their beers before when it was formerly called Locker Poly. Um, I think there's a couple. Oh, there's an IPA and a pale ale or something like that. I can't remember. It's quite a while ago, maybe a, a year and a half, two years ago. Um, but yeah, since they've done the rebranding of these amazing looking like, uh, I don't know, teardrop kind of style cans, they've absolutely been knocking it out of the park, what I've heard. I've not had any of their IPAs, parallels, that sort of thing, double IPAs. But yeah, they've been producing some really good beers by all accounts in the last sort of six months, eight months or whatever. Um, but yeah, so this is one of, one, one of these beers I was quite intrigued to actually pick up um, to include in, in the Good Beer Live show. And thanks again to Honest Brew. Um, all the details down below. GBL10 uh, is the code down below if you're new um, to Honest Brew and you get a bit of money off. So check out all the details down below. Um, yeah, so this wouldn't be something from this brewery that I would actually, or I would I, you know, generally purchase? Probably not. So it's kind of nice to showcase a beer from from this brewery that have been really doing some massive strides in the last few months um, to a saison, and that's you know why not summer months and I've been getting more into 
these kind of style of beers. Um, but yeah, it's got a lovely aroma to it. Let's 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 pour it all in and see how it changes then. Yeah, probably yeah, it's darkened up a little bit. This is the last part, so yeah, half a finger of white head before it dissipates by the time I uh, get to the beer. That's what it's doing. You kind of get that vibe with these some some of these beers, you, you know, a little bit more kind of spritzy kind of uh kind of beers, but yeah. Nice looking beer, definitely hazed up a little bit more. Uh, three quarter moderate haze. It's got a nice tang to it on the back end. Not, not wrong with it, as I say, up in Yorkshire. Um, yeah, steady, steady beer. Um, perhaps the ABV is a little bit high. Um, having reviewing a lot, a, lot, a lot of beers recently from a southern uh, located brewery um, like Saison's and stuff um, yeah it's, this is an interesting one but not, not one I would probably gravitate to often from this brewery at least um, but yeah if they do any other kind of styles like this in the future I'll be intrigued to see I'll be more intrigued to see how they go um, but yeah um, in terms of rating then, um, uh, pardon me, I'm going to give this a, a 6.5, 6.5 out of 10, um, so it's a 3.25 on the untapped scale. Over to untapped then, um, this has had 387 total check-ins in the last, well, ever, uh, 60 in the last 30 days, and it's had 352 actual ratings coming at 3.7, so I'm going to get a bit less than that. Uh, 3.25 from me so anyway if you had this one before from Polly's Bruco formerly Locker Polly and this is their Fiddle in the Void India Saison 7.1% interesting beer thanks again to Honest Brew thanks for watching if you're new to the channel please subscribe give us a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next review cheers